What is up guys, welcome back to another play review. Today we have our very first third inform play review and that is third inform Hazard. He looks completely amazing. Look at his in-game stats, everything is fucking green. Every it greens everywhere. So if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get you coins to get players like third inform Hazard, check out battle.com. The link will be in the description. Use the code Uton to get 5% off. Now, third inform Hazard. As you guys know, there was a bit of mixed feelings between the the previous gen and current gen because on previous gen like PS3 and Xbox 360 Hazard felt pretty good. Now when you move on to next gen Hazard feels a bit different but this one feels so so good. I don't know what changed about him. Now if you look at the third informs in-game stats and the second informs in-game stats you will see strength and aggression has only increased by one for each um, attribute. Now but on the pitch it just feels a lot better. I don't know what it was about him and even his dribbling is still 91 on the card or 90 one of the two but the second inform has the same dribbling attributes so for some reason he just feels better overall. Now he has perfect work rates, awesome agility, awesome passing, awesome balance so maybe all these little attribute upgrades add up to making him feel a bit more solid than the second inform. He has amazing finesse shots from outside the penalty area. You will see me getting very unlucky at the end of this video. Two finesse shots, really awesome, and from distance, and I don't score them. One hits the crossbar and the other hits the post. Very unlucky there. There's also a long shot which just goes a tiny bit wide. That was just so close to scoring long shots. I was just unlucky, but if you watch my previous, uh, you know, Hazard reviews, you will see a couple of those anyway. Um, he doesn't feel weak, fine. Finally, he doesn't feel exactly as weak as the second inform. He just feels uh, just right for a winger. He, he's not strong, but he's not weak at the same time. He's a very good finisher in the penalty area. I think he has like 92 finishing for a winger. That's fucking amazing. Um, amazing dribbler. You will see easily me just passing defenders. Just like in real life, Hazard just passing defenders, dribbling past them very quickly. You will be able to do that with his awesome agility and awesome balance. It's going to be very hard to stop third inform Hazard once he's at his full uh, full sprint speed. He also has 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot. So this guy is pretty much a complete winger. Even if you're going to use him as a left midfielder, he suits that position. He suits as a winger, he, he suits as a left forward, he suits in any position you can put him in. Imagine this guy becomes a centre attack in mid, that would be just insane. But for now, we're going to have to deal with him being a left midfielder, left winger and left forward, just like he is in real life anyway. So now let's start talking about his disadvantages. He has none. So that is all there is to it for this play review, guys. Definitely recommend him if you have the coinage. I think he is the best left winger in the Premier League to even try out or even put in the team. Even the highest rated, I think. he Is he the, one of the highest rated players in the Premier League right now? I think he is. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next because there's a ton of players that, that I would like to review from this team of the week. So I'm going to try and get through them very, very quickly. So I'd really appreciate your help in who you want me to review next so look at inform ramos he looks amazing i really like his non inform so i might try out inform ramos next but make sure you let me know which two play reviews you want to see for tomorrow guys because i always listen to you guys and i hope you guys have a very nice day